here's a bonus episode for those of you on Spotify for podcasters and Spotify podcast. And for those of you on the Spreaker podcast, Ideals Church of Universal Ethics. Um, I looked up how to form a church and it's only an idea if it's not organized in a body. You know, a body of uh, people. It's just an idea, but so be it. I have an idea of universal ethics. And I've been noticing a drastic change in my uh, spirituality habits. Um, I'm uh, saying the phrase, in Jesus' name, a lot when I pray, and that's significant to me and um, I've been listening to uh, testimonies testimonies and testimonials on YouTube and uh, for the first time in my whole life now I've gotten on my knees and prayed in church when I was little when I was living with my mom You know, doing the, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep, etc. Um, Even at Girl Scout camp, I I got down on my knees and prayed with the other girls in the cabins and the tents before bed. And I even uh, prayed with a friend of mine from high school. But uh, for the first time now, since my uh, spiritual experience with the Lord... On August 6th, 2022, I've begun to get down on my knees to uh, pray. I don't get down on my knees every single time I pray, but I got down on my knees twice in two weeks to uh, pray a prayer for the Lord to take away my sin of... crushing on people and on my sin on um, having a desire to uh, be close to someone that I'm not married to or committed to exclusively and I'm in a poly arrangement and I'm only intimate and romantic with those three individuals, Aura, Cherie, and D. And, um, I, um, it's getting on to the holiday season, and I'm thinking about old stars I used to have crushes on when I was a teenager. And, um, I'm also thinking about the woman in my uh, day treatment program, and I've been saying reciting a phrase cover me with your blood Lord cover me with your blood protect me from lust protect me from sin protect me from wanting to be with someone for any reason other than being betrothed or reproducing children and I'm too old to have children I'm 56 So that leaves bonding, and I've already been bonded with my poly arrangement. The the girl I live with, and uh, the man that uh, lives halfway across town, and the woman who lives downtown. Um, I can't spend the night with the other two, but the one lives, one of them lives with me. One lives with me. And um, as long as I know not to engage in relations or go after or covet or lust on anyone or have relations with anyone other than those three. I'm clear. And um, I'm going to get down on my knees right now and remember those prayers that I said. God, please forgive me. Lord, please forgive me for uh, 
all the sexual sins I've committed in my life. I no longer have a desire to do that. I no longer have a desire to uh, sleep with multiple partners. I no longer have a desire to uh, crush on people. I have a desire to bond with my betrothed and spend the rest of my life with them. And it must be your will to continue that or not. And if I'm not betrothed, to live a life of celibacy and to be okay with it. To know that if, if a person is still a virgin, it is your will. And you're either planning on someone coming along and being with them or, or them encountering someone that your will is, who, you know, who your will is to be with. Um, not just for pleasure or for fun or for lust. Thou shall not and I shall not. love anyone in the world and not to love the world but to love you who made it that automatically means that if I love the one who made the world I love everybody as my brothers and sisters and androgynous siblings and that is the truth and that is your will for me I shall no longer, and give me the strength I need, cover me with your blood. Give me the strength you need, the humility I need, and the humility I need to abound. Be bounded by this. To surrender all worldly human mammon desires. I can no longer love the world I'm in. It's full of lust and it's full of uh, better thans and narcissism and uh, material things. I wish now to love the one who made it. You, you God, and you Jesus, his son. In your name, 